Hello again everyone and welcome back to Resident Evil. We are back here in the x-ray room in the laboratory. Hopefully we're not going to run into too much trouble. So we did just, I think, decipher the password of the, um, of the, uh, what, what door was it? It was their door. Yeah, so those are both locked. We know that for a fact, so we'll go back through here. Is the it was the it was the data storage room, wasn't it? I think, or the something data something room. So we now presumably have to go through here, where this leads. How big is this room? Not that big. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Biohazard mark indicates the presence of biologically hazardous materials. Thank you for that lesson there. Don't like the fact that there's magnum rounds available. Power corpse lies on the operating table. That's nice. No, no, that's that's good. That no, no, it's fine. It it's good to see. Is anything likely to pop out at me here? Could happen. V-Act researchers know us. There is now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. The host eventually mutates into a humanoid creature. We call them V-Act. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already four of our researchers um, have died from trying to feed it, turning the place into, a blood, into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric incident, we've decided to call it kind of Crimson Heads. That dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. We have finally decided to, f decided to freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. Oh, that was the fucker! That was the... that was the prototype. Well, he's dead. So that's fine. Information management server. Oh, fucking hell. Um. Oh, is this... John? Is it John Ader or... I don't know, John. Da, 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 da. Um, basement door lock operation, select floor. Oh. Okay. B3F. Entry into this room is limited to the sole person who deactivates the lock with all of all of the passcodes. Okay, where is that? It's somewhere. Yeah. What a weird old computer. So there's something else in here. I almost don't want to go in here. Oh fuck right off. God. Another first aid box. So our inventory is full now, so if we need to pick anything else up, we are screwed. Green up. Just, just a regular old green up. What kind of fucking nonsense is that? Is that a battery pack? Yeah. Everything? That's everything. Nice. Right. <laughs> Honestly, I hate it. I hate it so much. Um, okay. So, should we go back out? Okay, so the door. Back through the corridor is unlocked now. 
So, but, but we're probably going to need to go back and dump our items in the box anyway, aren't we? So we can do that. Yeah, just this way. Still got two auto kerosene left, which is handy. That door's not unlocked, is it? No, it's not. Of course it's not. Of course it's not. So that, so that is... That's completely empty, isn't it? Yeah. That's fine. It's not the end of the world. Hopefully two lots of kerosene will be enough to deal with whatever else is, is left in there. Right, so we'll put the green herb away. Put the put that as well that way as well. And that and that stuff. Is that enough? Yeah. Probably for now. God I hope so. God I hope so. Not a care in the world. So I'm presuming this next one is going to be the... Oh fuck, I've just realised. Yeah, I've just realised. Just realised what I did wrong there. I, I, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Didn't really want to come back into this room, not gonna lie, but... So it's John... And then... Ada... Yep, there we go. So B2F needs another password, which should be cell. There we go. Good stuff. Cancel that. There we go. All good? Yeah, all good. So what doors are unlocked now? B ah right, so yeah, the B2 door is now is now unlocked. Right, what which one is the B3 door and which one's the, the B2 door? The visual data room is is the B2 one. B3 I don't know what the B3 what B3 one is. Um So, so whatever material is is in is in the visual data room, and then we need to activate the self destruct. <sighs> do I want to do I want to blow this place up? I don't know. I, mean, I probably should. It's not exactly it's not exactly fit for human. No, it's 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 it, it's it's not good for humanity. Is what I'm what I'm trying to get across here. So yeah, this door's now unlocked. So I'll have a, so I'll have a look and see what's in here. Ink ribbons. Oh, there's a lot of shit in here. I think there's en enemies in here as well. Got to be an enemy. This is surely too big to have more than one enemy in. How you doing, buddy? 
You are quite, you are quite close to me, aren't you? Goodbye. Yeah, there is a lot in here. But I'm just pointing that out. Oh, you bitch. I was, I was, I was going to try and get around you, but what happened? You dead? You are dead. Do, do I want to burn the corpse? I feel like I'm going to have to come back in here. Maybe. Slide filter. Yeah, I tell you what, I, I will I will burn the corpse, just for, for the fact that I feel like I might have to come back in here. So let me get away from it. All good? Yeah. So there's a slide filter. There is incendiary shells. Bit concerned that, that we've been given those. More incurvins, we know what they are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't touch clear liquids, Jill. There seems to be something behind the sturdy door. No, I'm alright for now. So there is potentially a door to open there, but I don't really want to open it. What's that? Facts. To the Sanitation Division, Attention Manager of Sanitation from Raccoon Disaster Contingency Committee. The contents of this fax are confidential intended for the name the name's addressee only. Any copying or disclosure of the contents of this fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender. After reading the contents of this fax, it must be destroyed immediately. Someone didn't do, didn't do that, right? We expect significant increase in the damage done by the recent T virus outbreak uh, than initially anticipated. Initially, in, uh, estimate, uh, initially estimated. There are several concerns. First concern, more than half of the researchers have been infected by the T-Virus and died. It has also been reported that almost all of the survivors of this accident are starting to show symptoms of the T-Virus infection. Our, <coughs> our secret security uh, patrol... <coughs> I'm having the worst time reading this. Our secret security patrol team has also been completely eradicated, therefore our most secret research is in danger of public disclosure. Oh no. Quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Third concern, there is a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect many casualties to follow. However, yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore the success of our research results. Are you shitting me? Actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect the first official intervention will come from the state police and the stars. We strongly recommend taking measures against them first. You sons of bitches. So that's come from the, that's come from the Raccoon City officials themselves. A security system passcode transmission device. If you had an MO disk, you could transmit the passcode to the system. Ah. Right. Okay. So do we want to go and get the MO disk? We could we could go and get the MO disk, couldn't we? We've got three spaces. We can, we can take everything in here and then... Yeah? I don't know what is the purpose of this. Oh, hello. There are red coloured slides inside, nothing's on it. Red coloured slides inside. Don't, I don't know what that's about. There's incendiary shells here. And there is more incrivens. Three more incrivens. So that room's empty of items now, seemingly. That's good. So, so there's allegedly a door which we can maybe open, but I uh, don't really not sure I really want to open it. So we'll leave for now, and we'll, I guess we'll go and get one of the MO discs. Oh, we could check the data room and B2 instead. That that's also an option. Might be a better idea doing that. I don't know. Because the the the, the self destruct thing is in the power room. So wherever the power room is, that that's when that's when shit's gonna kick off, pretty much. I'm gonna assume. Okay, that's fine. Right, so we'll go. Right, so that's the that's that's the data room, presumably. That's where the material is. So do we want to? Do, do we want to go in there? Could go in there. Could go in there, then come back and save the game. Might be an idea. 
I'd rather do that first, I think. Okay. Put all this away. We do have some incendiary shells in here somewhere, don't we? We have to. Sure, we sure we had some incendiary. There we go. There's the ones. And uh, we have a lot. We have tons of. We've got tons of increments now. Let's be honest, don't we? So we can't actually save right now. Eight. Ten. Yeah, there is. Yeah, we've got. We got. We've got. Um, thirteen increments again now. Put the slide cat slide filter away as well. Yeah, before we need it. Um. Yeah, tell you what, we'll we'll save the game here, I think, and then we'll uh, we will proceed for the next time, I think. Next, so we'll use the use the ribbon. Save number twenty-four. There we go. Right, wunderbar. Okie dokie, so thank you all very much for watching this episode, guys. I hope you all have enjoyed. If you have, then please do like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I shall catch you in the next episode of Resident Evil. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye-bye.